to show you how to use Weebly to create a website. First, I'm going to show you my Weebly that I use for my classroom. This is our class website that I do my newsletter on. Um, I put lots of things on here for my parents and my kids even use it. This is our my home page. I have a blog that I talk about things we're doing in the classroom. I post our newsletter here and sometimes I have the kids access this blog for different information like here was a link that I needed them to click on. Here I post different pictures from things that we've done in the classroom. I have a little about me page. Um, my contact information, parents can get a hold of me, that goes straight to my email. And then I have just some different things that the kids can access and that also the parents can access uh, if they need additional information. Okay, to get started, to make your own Weebly or website, you go to Weebly.com <clears throat> and it's free. You do need an email address to do this. And we're just going to choose the free one. <clears throat> okay, when you log in, there's you can choose different themes. And there's lots of different ones you can choose. And this can be changed. So don't stress over it too much. If you click on something and later you don't really like it, you can change it really easily. So I'm just going to go through here and choose something. <clears throat> okay, the domain is what you'll see up here, what people will type in up here to access your website. So if you um, want it to remain free, then your website will be here and it'll be .weebly.com. To pay for it, you can just have www.myclass.com or, you know, whatever it might be available. So I'm going to do um, Ashley Gwines and that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. Okay, and here's a little tutorial video you can watch if you want to. Uh, we're going to skip that. This is your editing page where uh, what it'll look like when you go in to create your website. And it's so simple, it is drag and drop. You come over here, and if you just hover your mouse over here, this will show up. And these are your basic things. So right now, you just have one page, it's your home page. Well actually, I guess it has your about and your contact also. but. Whichever one is highlighted is the one you're going to be working on, okay? So they have a little bit added already for you. If you are wanting to add, let's say, um, anything really, you just click it and drag it over there. Like if you wanted to do a little about me section down there, you drag over text and there's your box. Click here. You can type in whatever you want to type in. Okay, just whatever you want and it'll extend the more you type. Um, you can also, if you drag it over there and you don't like it, you just click the X and it goes away. Okay, we're not going to delete it. But here you can edit an image. And I went ahead and uh, just got a few images that we might want to use here. And that could be the image for my home page. And then you're going to come up here and click save. Now it's asking me do I want to save to all pages or this page only because within your pages you have your home page and different pages you may add. Do you want this picture on every page? Well I don't. So I'm going to say save to this page only. And there it is. Okay. Now it says click to add headline. You can just click it and um, Let's see, our classroom. Okay, click it. We are a first grade class with technology. We love to work. Okay, and then this could be your home page. You can change this up here to be.
okay to add pages you click up here and do pages and you can see right here these are the ones we have if you wanted to add a blog page there you go blog page what do you if you don't want to call it blog you can call it anything you want you can name it um, journal you can name it diary you can name it um, newsletter whatever however you want to use it you can name it. and you can always go back and change it that's the best part now there are different ways you can have it like this is what our home page looks like that's what it set as default and you can always change it right now we're on our newsletter or our blog and I'm gonna change it to let's do short header that means see this is the, gonna be the image and down here is where you can add anything else so we'll do save and edit now this is that page it's on the newsletter and to move it if you don't want your newsletter at the very end there you just go back to pages and move it it's so simple okay so we're gonna go back to build and I don't know who these kids are because they're default so I'm gonna change my image add image upload from your computer I'm just gonna use this picture oh that one probably won't work it might be too. So I'm just going to use that image for this. Save. And again, I just want to save to this page only. Okay. And since this is already set up as a blog, you just go to new posts and you can type your blog. Okay, um, there's different things you can add. Like on my Weebly, I had the uh, pictures page. So if I wanted to do that, I go back to pages, add a page, standard page, pictures, if you want your parents to be able to see it. Now I'm gonna do no header. Um, that way there won't be any pictures at the top because we're gonna do something else for that so you can if you just want to add one image you drag it over and that has storage for one image I want to add a gallery so I delete that never mind come back over you can add a slideshow or a gallery a gallery will look more like here's I can just show you on mine here this is what a gallery will look like They'll just be different icons there. And then a slideshow will be more like this, where the it, you've got it here, and then you have the thumbnails here you can click on. But it also rotates. I think I have it on a slow rotation. But that's what the different pictures look like. You can also set up a chat in here. Um, I had a parent chat in mine. I believe it was forums that I used, so I probably wouldn't put it on the pictures tab, but yeah, this is it. And so the parents can come in or whoever, you know, you can have a classroom discussion in here and um, they can just, you know, have a little chat, a controlled chat or however you want to do it. You can set up your settings that way. There are some designs from the beginning when we logged in when you choose your template remember how we chose this in the beginning where your pages the titles of your pages go down the left over here instead of the top so there's different ways you can change that if you want to add a link to something you can come down here and go to button okay now I want to scroll down over here so I can see where I'm a, you just add a button okay you double click here and you type your link where you said you wanted it to go like if you wanted it to go to your school website I always do open link in new window so that way uh, parents can or whoever can find their way back a little easier save you can do different colors different sizes and then to edit the text here And there you go you can kind of share your website on different social media outlets however you want now um, 
once I click publish this will be live and you'll be people will be able to access it I want to show you a few other things for settings you can come in here if you want to and um, your privacy settings like if you had pictures of your students on here especially students whose parents did not want their pictures online you can do a password it does cost extra but it, it is a neat feature that you can think about where you can have a password for your parents or whoever you want to access the site. There's a bunch of settings here. Did you click publish? This is the address where people will find your website. Okay. Categorize your website. This is just for like Google or it helps people find your website. Okay, and I have mine connected to Twitter, so every time I publish it, my parents get a notification. If they're following me via Twitter, they get a notification that I've updated my blog or my website. So, we set up our domain. And here is our website. And that takes me to the district website because that's a link in this page. And notice how this one opened in a new window so I can just close it out. All right, and there is our website. It's the simplest one I've ever used. I love it. I love it. I hope this helps you and have fun. Thanks.